In this two-part series, I will focus on John II Komnenos' relations with two Holy Roman Emperors, and one was Lothair or Lothar III. Their relations were of cooperation and alliance against a shared enemy. The Normans, the primary component. However, it was not simply a military alliance, but brought a change in society, especially in the Eastern Roman Empire. Nevertheless, the Normans were the top priority. In 1135, John II Komnenos sent envoys to the Holy Roman Empire under Lothar III. The envoys on the imperial court's behalf wanted an alliance against the Normans under Roger II. The two sides met at Merseburg to cement their alliance and gave gifts to the Holy Roman Emperor. John and Lothar agreed to a treaty protecting the northern border of the Eastern Roman Empire. Also, it brought cultural, military, and institutional changes, notably John's empire. From the Eastern Roman side, the military policy changed from having peasants and colonists trained to become soldiers and hiring mercenaries to a version of feudalism. Culturally, the imperial court became more westernized. Concisely, western ideas became more prevalent in the eastern court. Lothar's response was sending the bishop of Havelberg, Anselm of Havelberg, to address religious issues in the next year. In 1137, John sent another group of envoys to the Holy Roman Empire to address the issue of Roger II and his Normans. During this meeting, German troops under Lothar's command were heading to campaign in Norman control Italy. Summarily, Lothar's expedition failed because of sour relations with Pope Innocent II over the issue of Puglia, a rebellion, and his death on December 4th. On the other hand, the Eastern Emperor remained intact. To address the question, why the Normans? Lothar wanted supremacy over the Italian peninsula and John feared the Normans controlling the Mediterranean and possibly targeting Antioch, a strategic location to the Eastern Romans. His goals were neutrality and promising military assistance to the Holy Roman Empire, but the latter never transpired. Considering the alliance, it benefited John more than Lothar. On the other hand, the two sides did not go to war against each other. If belligerence occurred, they would open another front and another enemy for the empires to contend. John's decision to ally with the Holy Roman Emperor was to bring stability without engaging another enemy. Unfortunately for Lothar, he did not get the military aid from John to beat the Normans. But other factors, the worsening relations with the Pope, a revolt, and his death, played their roles. Conclusively, John and Lothar forged a powerful alliance on paper, mainly the military aspect, but one-sided for the Eastern Roman Empire. On the other hand, societal aspects changed the Eastern Roman Empire and used societal exchange to bring change. In my next video, part 2 will focus on John II Komnenos and Lothar's successor, Conrad III. Thank you for watching and have a good day.